back to the morning blend. Warmer weather is here and with hotter temperatures comes creepy crawlies like roaches, ants, bark scorpions and other bugs. If you need help fighting back, our next guest knows exactly what to do. I have Audra just thinking about this. Lee Schroeder, he's the uh, branch manager from Truly Nolan Pest Control. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys Hello, doing? Welcome. Doing very well. Before we get into some of our friends here, uh, let's talk about the company Truly Nolan, how it got started. Oh, Truly Nolan. Uh, Truly Nolan is actually the um, owner's name. His name is Truly David Nolan. No kidding. Um, started oh, with wow. his dad in 1938, and then it grew from there to from 1958, and here we are today. So. so you're helping people get rid of unwanted bugs in their homes and companies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you uh, brought in some friends, shall we say. <laughs> what are these? These are bark scorpions, would have now become native to uh, the Las Vegas or Nevada area. They weren't mm -hmm. always, though, right? No, uh, thanks to us Arizonians, you know, whenever uh, we imported mm. palm trees years and years and years and years uh, ago, uh, so they, they came in with a lot of importing stuff like now, that. Now, if you see them in your home, what happens? Well, wow. one thing, I mean, you, you definitely want to be careful they are, since they are now native to, to Nevada. Um, one thing that we recommend is look for condition conducives for reasons why they would be in your house. Okay. Uh, high influx of other insects, crickets, roaches, that's the food sources for these guys. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if you have palm trees, vegetation, your landscaping, if you have beautiful landscaping, it's going to be, uh, you know, part of the cost is ah. you're going to have these little friends around your neighborhood. So. I had a palm tree at my last house. In this house, we don't have palm trees. It's actually banned in our, in our neighborhood oh, wow. to stop the, these bark scorpions because they are a problem and even when people are going up to trim them the scorpions can get them absolutely yeah. uh, they're natural climbers so they could be from the ground to the, uh, all the way to the top um, when construction happens the vibration in the ground causes them to move so they move throughout the neighborhoods mm. that way too as well so what happens if you get stung what are you supposed to do you know, it's really only a risk if, if you're allergic to it, obviously. Okay. If you're allergic to anything, that's to be concerned, mm -hmm. uh, medical attention. Um, you know, for anybody under the age of three or, or elderly, definitely could be a concern, too, as well. Yeah. Um, but for the general public, uh, you know, um, you know, re relatively healthy, no really concerns. So if we want you to help us get rid of it, how long does it take? Um, you know, it depends on how large the infestation is, but to okay. be honest with you, we just cut down the expectations on how often you're going to see them. Yeah. These guys have been around a lot longer than us, yeah. mm -hmm. um, so for us to say that they're completely going to go away is unrealistic. Not realistic, yeah. Absolutely. So we want to paint that right picture. We just want to control them in your environment. Mm -hmm. So, oh, uh, Beyond uh, just giving them the boot. What's a way to, uh, to, to prevent them from even coming in the first place? You know, again, uh, checking out those conditions conducives. What we look for when we come out and do an inspection, um, we look for cracks and crevices where they could get into the house. Even the smallest ones. Smallest, yeah. like credit card thickness. Wow. Um, these guys are fat because I feed them well in my office. <laughs> <laughs> so are lucky to yeah, have you. Absolutely. So they, they're a little thicker than, uh, than your average uh, one out that's out in the wi wild. So just a little cracks. You see daylight around your door, around your mm. garage door, that's that enough. type of stuff. It's enough. Wow. Now let's talk about bed bugs. We oh, hear about yes. that. Hotels are afraid of them as well. Where do they come in from? How well, do they survive? Bed bugs, that's the reason why I kind of got a bag here. Bed bugs are the ultimate traveler. Mm -hmm. um, bed bugs don't come from outside. They're not an outside introducing. Mm -hmm. It's introduced by people bringing them into the environment. Okay. Mm. Um, so we do have some recommendations for the travelers because spring, you know, coming up with you got spring travelers. Mm -hmm. um, give you some of the tips that us uh, in the industry as professionals use. Like I use um, a hard shell uh, suitcase. Um, uh -huh. per se, so they're not necessarily able to get into the little zipper crevices, zipper and, stuff like crevices that, yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I like to use a duffel bag because I could take this home and I could throw it in a dryer and the heat uh -huh. of the dryer over a couple cycles will also help eliminate that chances of spreading throughout the house. Can we call you in to spray if we have a bigger problem than what we can handle? Absolutely. Um, we in uh, residentially and commercially we'll give a free inspection for those things because mm -hmm. they are uh, they're very easily to identify. That's the biggest surprise with people. They go, oh you could actually see them. They're a lot bigger than what, what the public wants to perceive. So absolutely, we'll come in. That's one of the reasons why, you know, one of the things that's very important is a flashlight, a very powerful, strong flashlight to make sure that we're seeing into those cracks and crevices mm -hmm. and looking for their condition conducives. There's other things they'll leave behind uh, that will give us a trail that they're there or not. And if you think you have back knee, it could just be that you have bed bugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. which is no good. Theory, no good, but no good at all. Now, uh, no, go ahead. you want to talk about uh, cockroaches and ants. That's another common problem. Yeah, absolutely. Now that the temperatures are going up, ants are going to want to, you know, they're out and about uh, running around. Um, cockroaches too, and again, that's another source to control uh, the scorpions because that's their food source. Not necessarily ants, but <clears throat> the control of ants is, is a lot of it is, um, you know, 
they're keeping their food source down, keeping the places clean, sanitation, yeah. that type of stuff to keep them out of the household and let them be out in the wild where they want to be. Ants especially are one of those things that, like we, I had a situation in, uh, in our uh, uh, pantry, we had our dog food on the ground. There's no windows or doors to the outside. There was a little tiny little crevice inside the tile Absolutely. where the, uh, where the, the, the uh, shelving was. And they were getting in from the outside from that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they're amazing, amazing creatures how far they'll travel. Yeah. We, uh, we had a, um, a problem child that we had to deal with on an account that uh, it was finding a lifesaver underneath a, in a doctor's office, oh, God. 30 foot from where they were trailing from. Wow. So we had to identify oh, where's this gosh. food source they're going and they trailed all the way to this lifesaver. That's, that's, that's the one small. thing with ants, you could find exactly where they're going. Can yeah, you absolutely. sprinkle sugar on them? Is that an old wives tale? Is wives it tale. That is. So they'll that actually, well, you're gonna feed them you. depending yep, on what's going on. So, so like don't do that, <laughs> okay. Don't Although do salt on snails still works. I remember that from when I was eight. Absolutely. It's great having you. Thank you so much. Awesome, I appreciate it. What, what are their names, by the way? Do uh, you have names for them? I don't have names. <laughs> we'll jerk have number one later, and okay. jerk number two. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank for the tips. Don't let the creepy crawlies, roaches, termites, other bugs take over your home. Get help from Truly Nolan Pest Control. They have services available right here in the Valley. If you want to book an appointment, check out the website or call the number on your screen. And I'm, 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 the, the coolest cars ever that come up to your door as well. They're I know. So cute. Mm -hmm. Well, up next.